Hello guys, this is Adip. Welcome to my channel Movement Science where I simplify biomechanics with Joe. In today's video, we are going to talk about the second part of the articulations that are seen at the rib cage. So without any further ado, let's get started. So today we are going to cover the costochondral chondrosternal and interchondral articulation okay so first let us start with the costochondral articulation the chondral is basically cartilage and costal is ribs right so you can see this is the the white structure over here is the cartilage correct and the brown structure is the rib so the articulation that happens over here is your costochondral joint as you can see over here mentioned the second one is the chondrosternal that means the cartilage and the sternum articulates so chondrosternal right so that is the chondrosternal joint and then we have interchondral joints that is basically you can see this chondral or the cartilages joining among each other right this is the interchondral articulations so these are the three articulations now let's move on to the first one that is the costochondral articulation it happens from rib 1 to all the way to rib 10 and it is a synchondrosis joint and present anterolaterally as you can see over here. In this type of articulation what happens is the ou outer layer of the bone and the outer layer of the cartilage they fuse together and they provide the stability. So you do not require any ligament to provide stability for this joint and that's what I mentioned here the periosteum that is the outer layer of the bone or the rib and the perichondrium outer, outer layer of the cartilage are continuous which provides the support without any need of your ligament to stabilize. So it is a synchondrosis joint. Apart from this joint the other two joints that is the chondrosternal and the interchondral both of them are synovial joints right that means they have capsule around them and they also have ligaments which reinforce it which we will come to later so first starting with chondrosternal the costal cartilage from 1 to 7 they articulate anteriorly with the sternum as you can see over here the first seven ribs articulating and out of these seven your first sixth and seventh only three of these are synchondrosis joints rest all of them are synovial from 2 to 5 so at the level of 1 6 and 7 rib the articulation happens with the lateral facet okay so if i can show you on a real bone right these are the lateral facets and the ribs or the chondral part of the rib comes and attaches over here that's where the articulation happens and specifically if you look at the second rib which is actually a synovial joint there are two facets so it articulates at two areas over here okay rest all of them just have one lateral facet which where the ribs come and join so coming back over here the chondrosternal some of them are synchondrosis and most of them are synovial joints now around this synovial joints we have capsule which is continuous with the periosteum that is the outer layer of the bone and along with that we also have ligaments which reinforce this capsule right so that provides it the stability what are the ligaments we specifically have the anterior and posterior sternocostal ligament and at the xiphoid process we also have costo xiphoid ligament which joins the chondral part over here from anterior as well as posterior side to the xiphoid process and also we have the costo sternal ligaments which are basically intra articular ligaments like how we saw in the costo vertebral joints right so if you take example of the second level over here it divides these two facets inside through the ligament okay so these are the ligaments present at the chondrosternal joint now let's move on to the interchondral joint at interchondral joint you have costal cartilages of the ribs right which articulate among each other immediately above them right so if you can see this is a cartilage and there is one above it so they articulate among themselves if you can see properly they have shown over here and the rib 8 to 10 they join the sternum only through these connections they indirectly join the sternum from rib 8 to 10 through these connections over here and believe me or not these are also synovial joints with capsule around them if you can see these are the ligaments which are present 
apart from the capsule and these are called as the interchondral ligaments because they are present between the cartilages right interchondral ligaments and both these ligaments the interchondral and the chondrosternal both these ligaments they become fibrous and they fuse as you age so these two joints have this one feature in common right so with that we finish off this topic what did we study we saw costochondral joint which articulates between the rib and the cartilage over here then we saw chondrosternal which articulates between the cartilage and the sternum the articulation is between the cartilage and the sternum and then we saw interchondral where the articulation is between the cartilages that join the rib right so with that we finish off this topic that's all for today guys thank you for watching